Annie Hicks stepped outside Wickshire Fort Harrison to share her 83 years of wisdom. She's the oldest of 13 siblings. Her father moved the family to Hammond, Indiana from Mississippi after he witnessed two black boys lynched. He said, now I've brought you up north for a better life and the only thing I ask from you is for you to try to make this world a better place. And I have never forgotten that. I remember it every day and I try to do that. Annie graduated from Ball State and wanted to come back home to teach. The superintendent said no. Because Hammond was not ready for a colored teacher. But her father's words to her were stronger than the racism she faced. This wall has to come down and you must do it. Annie won a court battle to become Hammond's first black teacher. She taught primarily first grade for over 40 years. She produced black history teaching aids and tried to address racism with education. I think if people learn to communicate, we can get along. But if you go in fighting or fussing, or it's just gonna make it worse. Residents have been largely restricted to their rooms during the pandemic, which gives Annie plenty of time to watch television news. And she sees the young people protesting. They're about the same age she was when she was trying to become a teacher. Yes, I can relate to them and I appreciate some of them, the ones who do a quiet job of it. But if they're out destroying property, mm -mm. some people just get in there to be with the group and they don't mean to help it at all. Annie helped. There's a documentary about the change she started. I just did something that I felt was very important that I wanted to do the best that I could. You've done well, Annie. Thanks for the visit. This documentary that was created about Annie Hicks is called This Wall Must Come Down. Now it was set to premiere this spring in Hammond after 60 years after she earned that right to teach. But the pandemic unfortunately pushed that premiere back to as late as next year. And they're doing so so that the community can really come together and gather in a large facility. So